हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल एंड आई एम हेयर विद अनदर इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक ऑन हाउ टू सिक्योर योर वर्चुअल मीटिंग्स वी हैड सीन रिसेंटली ए हैक और ओवरटेक ऑफ वर्चुअल मीटिंग्स ड्यूरिंग द पब्लिक हेयरिंग इन द यू एस एस यू आर राइट आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट द फेमस कोर्ट हेयरिंग इन यू एस एन ट्विटर हैकिंग केस इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न फ्यू टिप्स ऑन हाउ टू सिक्योर द वर्चुअल मीटिंग्स एंड हैव ए कंट्रोल ओवर इट बट बिफोर वी स्टार्ट दिस वीडियो If you are visiting my channel for the first time then please like share and subscribe so let's begin today's video now let's see what all the controls can be implemented to protect the virtual meetings making it more secure you can see we have the following options like protect your meeting with password enable waiting room control over sharing the documents random meeting id patch update be vigilant or aware about the apps use web client follow meeting etiquettes be mindful on sharing meeting links publicly now we will see each of these best practices little closely a virtual meeting account is like just another account where you should apply the basics of account protection use a strong and unique password and protect your account with two factor authentication which makes your account harder to hack and better protected when you log in or create an account for the virtual meeting apps in addition to your login and password you get a personal meeting id avoid making it public when you send a meeting invite enable the option of waiting room by enabling this feature the participants in the meeting will not be able to join till you open or start the meeting unauthenticated user should be held in a waiting room so the organizer can check their identity before admitting them to the call this feature will allow you to have a control over who can share the screen and who cannot you can also apply other controls like blocking file sharing and private chat it will make sure that disruptive users and trouble makers are away from the meeting it is always advisable to use randomly generated meeting ids or setting the password for all your meetings you can send a separate link for meeting id and password via email or via messaging apps it is recommended that you ensure all your applications are patched and updated with the recent security releases as per the recent survey number of malicious files incorporating the names of popular video conference services like zoom webex and go to meeting so don't fall for it always use official websites to download the app for your mac and windows pc You can download the required apps for your mobile device from App Store or Google Play. Given the absence of proper security assessment, Zoom apps likely remain vulnerable and they may still employ shady practices such as sharing data with third parties. For this reason, it is recommended to use Zoom's web interface instead of installing the app on your device. Before you jump on the call, take a moment to consider what people will see or hear when you join the call even if you are at home alone they may expect you to be fully dressed basic grooming is probably a good idea sometimes you want to host public events and in many places online events are the only type of public events available these days so zoom is at attracting more and more people but even if your event is truly open to everyone you should avoid sharing the link on social media I hope we have learned some of the basic tips on how to protect virtual meetings. If you found this video useful, then please like, share and subscribe. Till then, stay home and stay safe.